and hearing loss it's something that's more common with older age that's what's not as common though people getting checked out when symptoms arise on this better hearing month i looked into things contributing to this trend through the experience of too many older sisters they call themselves the pink mamas and just like any <laughs> sisters they look out for each other you never worry about being by yourself because you're not so of course when the world slowly became quieter for 83 year old ruth Sandy noticed. I started feeling like I had cotton stuffed in my ear. And so I thought, well, since she needs to come here, I'll just have them check mine. In November of last year, both were diagnosed with hearing loss. By December, hearing aids brought them back. The gift of sound. I love it. I love it. I can't tell you enough how much I love it. The Hearing Loss Association of America reports nearly 48 million Americans have significant hearing loss, many waiting an average of seven years before seeking help. For Ruth, it took five years. Well, you can always turn the TV up a little louder, or you can always put words on the screen so you can read it. In 2020, a study showed the average patient paid about $2,500 out of pocket for the devices. This cost unaffordable to more than three quarters of Americans with hearing loss. It's something that's been uh, a legislative effort for a number of years. Um, unfortunately, the traditional Medicare still does not cover hearing aids. Over-the-counter options are now available. However, their hearing coverage limited. So the over-the-counter hearing aids are not going to treat a severe or profound hearing loss. Um, and those labs are affected even more than a mild or moderate hearing loss. Although the affordability gap has yet to be bridged, experts advise people with any change in hearing to not wait. It does affect your cognition to let your hearing loss, you know, linger for a long time but not be treated. Ruth and Sandy were lucky enough to get some coverage through their personal insurance. Their message to people. Mm -hmm. Yep, don't put it off. That's our best advice. Doctors share warning signs of hearing loss include ringing in your ears, discharge, and ear pain. You can scan the QR code you see right here on your screen or head over to the Big Red Box section on our website for more information on hearing aid resources.